again, I will stress, I am not licensed. I do not have a medical degree. I cannot give medical advice, nor will I attempt to give medical advice as this is really, really bad. Um, I can give from my perspective or I can give what I've researched, but in the end, a licensed professional is the only one that can address um, any true in injury or any true medical questions that any of you guys might have. So hopefully that answers that question for everybody. Hello. And welcome back. I am TBI Journey, and in today's video, we're gonna do another QA. But I don't know, I think I should do an announcement before we get into it. Got that done, we're covered. The announcement is I'm bad at drum rolls. Okay, so I have these, which I am so excited for. Ah! Okay, so we got this one here. I don't know, does it, does it? Oh, it does, it shows up. I understand they're like not printed out really well. But we're not judging. I mean, we're just gonna be grateful to the fact that I even got it. So we got one of them. And then, hold on a second, watch, 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 hold on. And by the power of editing, I am back. Okay, so this is what I just showed you guys. And this is a bath from the past. I mean, we've done that much work already. From February to November. Look at that! That's insane! This is the one I showed you guys. And it's a blast from the past. I mean, look at this! Look what we've done! This is so cool! Oh. February to November. I, I just don't understand y'all. You guys are animals. You're just shredding everything up right now. Please, by all means, keep it up. I could not believe when I put this up and did the video and then I turned around a couple weeks ago and saw this. I was like, I, I don't get it. I don't get how y'all did it. But you do it. Me explaining all that, I would like to tell everybody thank you. And from the bottom of my heart, I am so excited for the next part of this journey. So, now that that's over, <laughs> let's get into the video. Okay, so now that we're back, um, we're gonna start with getting our face ready. I would like to announce within, yeah, we'll do it within this video as well. So we're going to do it with each consecutive video. Does that make sense? Hopefully it makes sense. So there is a video that I put out prior to it and up above me, I should have the uh, video coming out. So if you haven't watched it, go check out that video first and then come back and join me. Are you back? Fabulous. Okay, 
So this video, as you can see from down below, is the next part. Now it's been assessed that the injury is a little bit more severe than your standard, I'm gonna stay at home and get better, okay? So this is going to the GP. What do you ask the GP once you get there? So our first question is how long will my recovery take? Can I sleep normally? Can I go to school or work? Um, I Am I still allowed to do physical activity? What activities do I need to avoid? Every What worsens a TBI? Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Thanks! that while you're there, if need be, have the doctor write down what it is that you need to remember. Because there may be a possibility that come a couple hours after leaving the doctor, you're not going to remember what the doctor told you and you're going to be like, I don't remember what I'm supposed to do. Uh, if it's on a piece of paper, it's going to be a lot harder to forget it. So just make sure that you have some way of being able to refer back. One of my favorite things to do when I was going through my journey, and I don't know if anybody else does it, comment that down below, but I would record what the doctor was saying and then I had a little sketch pad. I don't know where my pad went. Oh, wait, 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 look, look. So I got this early on, um, really quick after my injury. And it's got this cutesy little clip thing up the top of it. I've got some personal things attached to the front of it, so I don't really wanna It's got this cutesy little clipboard attached to it. I'm not necessarily get something this fancy, but this is what I had. And I would go to the doctors. I would record what it was that the doctor was telling me. And then I would come back and I would put my notes in it. So if I was supposed to take medicines at a certain time, if I was supposed to do um, tests, so maybe I had to go in for labs into imaging or whatever it was that the doctor told me I would put it inside of my medical log so that if I was like dang I really wish I would have paid attention about what I was supposed to be eating today or what medicine I was supposed to be taking at what time or whatever happened that day at the doctor's office I would write it down in there and I would be able to go back to that time and time again so that my healing would progress forward. I would recommend that tool if um, you're very early on in your injury. It's an amazing tool to have and it's saved my backside many, many times. Body and the way your body responds to external, external stimuli might be different. You might heal faster than I did. I took a very long time to heal up. Um, was it four, four years? Yeah, 2019. 2019 was when I started to actually have my own memory recall after my injury in 2015. So, um, 
wouldn't necessarily say that I'm in a position now to classify myself as perfect, but I've gained enough coping skills around me to be able to survive and kind of lead, yeah, lead a normal life, or at least to most people they call it normal. I don't call it normal. I just go around there <laughs> way too much. Hi, checking in. Um, got my sick bag today. <laughs> Super. <laughs> um, we're we're just gonna edit that one out. So uh, maybe we can put it at the end. <laughs> Frank, Deb, Deb, Frank. <laughs> Issues. This is what happens when you're a YouTuber, you sit in your house all day long talking to yourself. <laughs> you, you begin to go crazy. Those things? That, that right there? My, my brain just like fell asleep. <laughs> brain, the brain things inside your head. Supposed to be doing a medical thing here. <laughs> My poor brain. You don't want to work with me today. Help me. This is what happens during the holiday season. Your your brain goes into overload. When it goes into overload, it goes into shutdown. When it goes into shutdown, it's like autopilot thereafter. <laughs>